Hello everyone and welcome back to Carvinus 14. Now, as you guys can tell by the video title and the thumbnail, today we are going to be talking about everyone's probably most anticipated uh, favorite character coming out into the game in the future. Now, her name is Kamisato Ayaka, and she is a character that's actually been um, anticipated ever since the beta of the game, because she was actually in the very first um, beta run back in 2019, I believe like March 2019. So she's basically been in the game for for pretty much two years now, but obviously she's not actually playable right now. She's her, like... She's um, being worked on currently because she was actually playable in the beta. A lot of people liked her. A lot of people liked her character design um, and, you know, her abilities and all that. So today we are going to be talking about Kamisoto Ayaka, who she is and how she's going and how, uh, what her playstyle is and when she's going to be uh, coming out. Now, I'm not going to be going through her passive talents and her constellations and stuff like that. If you guys do want to read up on that, though, I will put a link in the description on her, um, basically her entire skill set and her, you know, like, you know, her, her details, basically, on um, her damage and stuff like that, basically. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, on with the video. So, who is Kamisato Ayaka? Well, as you can clearly see, she is this character right in front of your eyes. Very beautiful, very elegant. Um, she's from Inazuma. Now, if you guys do remember our previous video on uh, the Electro, on Electro and Dendro, um, you guys will know that Inazuma is going to be the next region that we will be going to 100% guaranteed in the future. Now, as for when it's, uh, she's going to be coming out, we will get onto that. Now, she's from Inazuma, and she's part of the Inazuma Bakufu, Bakufu, right, Bakufu. Yeah, so she's part of the Inazuma Bakufu. Now, if you guys don't know, um, the Inazuma Bakufu is basically like the government system there. So, you know how we have a government system in, well, the real world? In Inazuma, there's also a government system known as the Inazuma Bakufu. Now, um, Kamisato Ayaka is part of that Inazuma Bakufu, um, as well as um, the, um, what is it, a character called Raiden. Now, we're not going to go through Raiden in this video. She's going to be, I'm going to be making a, another separate video about her and, you know, stuff like that on her. So, definitely... Um, subscribe for the for content about her um so yeah she's part of the basically the inazuma government and she is quite high up in terms of uh the social hierarchy there and in terms of position because um well she's from her house which i'm going to pronounce uh quite carefully here um the inazuma bakufu shabugyo kamisato house now that's basically her house's full name now if you guys don't know what a house is in the samurai period every single samurai was part of a clan and um that clan was also known as a house so if you worked underneath the um kamisato clan you were part of the kamisato house right so um her house was the Inazuma Bakufu Shabugyo Kamisato. Now, she is actually the uh, princess of the Kamisato house. That's right, she is a noble. So, um, she is, uh, well, she's not going to be taking over the Kamisato house when her parents obviously hand it down to her, but uh, her brother, her older brother, is actually the person that's going to be taking, uh, you know, responsibility over the house um, when it comes to it. So, she's just going to be assisting him along with, you know, the, the, the clan's affairs and stuff like that. Like that. So yeah, if you didn't know, um, Inazuma is actually supposed to be set in Japan, and it's supposed to be set in the Edo period of Japan, which is uh, 1700s um, Japan, like the Genroku era, as you guys uh, may know about it. Um, it's around, yeah, the 1700s, and it's when samurais were still, um, well, samurais weren't really... Um, battling it out back then. I mean, there was a huge war um, before the Genroku era, uh, Genroku era, like just before, but um, this is after that great war happened, basically. So this is like the cooldown period for the samurais, really. So uh, yeah, they were still popular, and hence why the whole, um, you know, samurai kind of vibe going on with Inazuma, with the Bakufu, the uh, clan names and house names still being used. So um, yeah, she is also going to be one of the main characters we actually meet in the Inazuma uh, chapter, so chapter 2 basically, because uh, once that chapter was um, the prologue, 
Lean Waste chapter is chapter one, and then chapter two is going to be the Inazuma chapter. So she's going to be the main character, or one of the key characters that we do actually meet and um, go through the story with uh, when we get to chapter two. Now, um, if you guys uh, don't know why, uh, if you guys uh, don't understand why I'm saying this, um, if you guys go and check out the uh, story trailer preview character, uh, the story trailer preview for Genshin Impact, in fact I probably will put a link to that down in the description as well, um, then you guys will see that Kamisato Ayaka is actually, you know, uh, shown in that trailer. So all of the, all of the um, characters in that trailer are going to be um, key characters to, like, you know, um, the future uh, uh, storyline and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Now... That's enough lore about her. In terms of playstyle, um, she's a five-star cryo sword user. So she is a sword user, and she is um, the cryo element. Uh, yeah, so she has a cryo vision, and she uses a one-handed sword, not a two-handed sword, one-handed sword. So a two-handed sword um, is also known as a claymore, so I will be referring to that as a claymore. But um, yeah, she is a five-star, she's a cryo user, and she's a sword user. Now, um... Of course, all of this playstyle stuff, this may be subject to change. So it, it, it was like this. This is all the information, the information that has been uh, data mined from the beta. But um, obviously, because it's been the, it's from the beta, things could have changed. Like some things with Zhao has changed, but um, like from the beta till now. So things about her may change as well. So um, this is just giving us a guideline on who she may be and who she probably is going to be, because most of this is set in stone. But like I said, it can change at any time. So, yeah. Um, now, her playstyle. She's very, very fast. Obviously, being a samurai, she kind of has to be. She's very fast, and her moveset, like her her character moves and combos and, you know, like attack string, is very, very inspired. In fact, um, it was actually inspired from Virgil from the Devil May Cry series. Now, if you guys do know Virgil from Devil May Cry, you know how he plays, uh, he plays being a very quick character and how he uses his sword, the Yamato. So, um, yeah, Kamisato Ayaka basically uh, uh, follows Virgil's uh, moveset. In fact, I will put some videos down in the link below comparing Kamisato Ayaka with Virgil so you guys get a better idea of how um, she plays into it. Now, for those of you guys that don't understand, know who Virgil is, I will be explaining as we go along. So, her normal attack string um, is a mixture of the Yamato combo C into the Rapid Slash. So, um... Virgil has a combo called Yamato Combo C, so it's basically when Virgil uh, does two swift strikes and then into multiple uh, multiple very fast uh, strikes and um, then lashes out, except um, with uh, Ayaka, she does like the first, um, the first three hits of it, the first multi-hitting of the Yamato Combo C, and then goes into a dash attack where she dashes through, en her, through her enemy and does multiple strikes through them. So again, you will, you guys will be able to see a visual representation in the uh, video, uh, in the videos in the description below. Obviously, I can't put them here because this is a Word document. So um, yeah. Uh, now the rapid slash is basically when Virgil uh, lunges into his enemy and goes through them and does multiple attacks. So it's a very cool move. Again, uh, you guys will be able to uh, see the comparison. Now. Her charged attack is also, um, well, Virgil's Judgment Cut. Now, Judgment Cut, for those of you guys that do know Virgil, is Virgil's pretty much his his most iconic move. His, his Judgment Cut and his Judgment Cut End, they are his most iconic moves. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what Judgment Cut is, Judgment Cut is basically when um, Virgil, uh, what is it, throws, um, throws like a uh, sequential, uh, like a flurry of blades at his enemies, and then they basically um, cut the enemy into many, many slices. So um, it's a very fast attack. So he sheathes his katana, throws the uh, throws the um, multiple blades out, and then resheathes it. And it's at that point where he basically, um, you know, where the uh, the blades basically circle around the enemy and then uh, do the actual cuts onto the enemy. So it's all very, very fast and in succession. So. Um, 
that's what uh, Kamisato Ayaka's charged attack is. Again, this will make more sense if you guys go to the videos in the de uh, description below and check um, check her move set out there. Now, um, her E skill or her elemental skill is called Hyoka. So it creates cryo fountains around around herself, and then she shoots them up up which lifts smaller enemies like healer shells, slimes, treasure hoarders, and it staggers the bigger enemies. So the guys like the Mitter shells, the, um, what else is there? The, uh, Lore shells, the big guys, basically. The Geo Vishaps, those guys. So, um, yeah, it basically, um, creates cryo founders around her, and then she shoots them up, which basically staggers enemies, really. And, um, it's very, very good for, uh, applying cryo. She's very, very good at applying cryo, especially because this skill does actually have a uh, six second cooldown. Yeah, a six second or eight second cooldown. I can't actually remember, but it's around that time. So it is on a very short cooldown, so you can probably, um, well, not spam it, obviously, but uh, yeah, you can do it really quickly. Now, of course, this number may change in the final game, but this is what it was like in the beta. So yeah, for those of you guys that do remember playing the beta version of Genshin Impact, you will remember it's around 6 to 8 seconds. So, yeah. Um, her ultimate Q skill or elemental burst, basically her ultimate attack, the one that you have to charge up with energy particles, is called Sumetsu. Sumetsu sorry. Um, now, what this creates is three blade storms and throws them forward. So, in other words, for those of you, for, Devil, my, my, for my Devil May Cry f uh, friends out there, um, those of you, uh, the B blade storms are basically like the judgment cuts. So you know when Virgil does the judgment cut, as I explained previously. Well, um, these are called blade storms for Ayaka. So she basically, um, uh, what is it? Gets uh, three blade storms from her fan that she has here. Um, you can't actually see it, but she's holding a fan here now. In this, um, in this ultimate, she uh, basically converts her fan into cryo blade storms and gets three of them and chucks them all out forward. Now, this is actually a damage over time, if you didn't know. So, as the blade storms travel forward, it does um, it does cryo damage over time, and it also slices enemies and deals damage to them over time as well. Of course, it does deal cry it deals cryo damage over time. That's the basic rundown of it. Now, these uh, blades do last for around. Um, five seconds, I believe. Five to six seconds. Uh, yeah, like, uh, what is it? These blades do last five to six seconds. Um, and the cooldown, I don't actually know, but I'm presuming it's around the tw 12 to 15 seconds, something like that. I can't actually remember. But yeah, the blades last to five... Uh, 5 to 16 seconds, and they do travel a decent um, amount in front of you. Of course, the only drawback is that um, if you're surrounded by an enemy, you can only chuck these blades in front of you, not really behind you, but then again, you can chuck them in front of you and deal with the enemies behind you separately with another person's ultimate or something like that. So, yeah. Um, so, again, we'll go through the um, the rundown of her playstyle again. So, her normal attack is, the first half is a, um, you know, Yamato combo C, and then goes into the Rapid Slash. So, basically, the multiple um, strikes to the ribs, and then uh, into the Rapid Slash. So, dashes through the enemy, while also doing multiple strikes as well. Now, her charge attack is Judgment Cut, so where she basically unsheathes, chucks, uh, chucks a Blade Storm out, basically. Chucks a Blade Storm out, it homes onto the enemy, and then um, it circle. It basically uh, slices and uh, stabs right into them, and then she sheaths her katana again in really quick succession. Her E skill is Hyoko, so it creates cryo fountains around her and then shoots them up. And Sumetsu just uh, chucks three um, blade storms or judgment cuts out in front of um, her, and it lasts for five to six seconds. Now, her special dash. The reason I have um, written this down is because. Um, Ayaka is actually going to be the second character that we actually know of right now. Um, she's going to be the second character that actually comes with Mona's dash. So you know how Mona's dash, she goes into the ground as um, the Hydro element, and then when she resurfaces, she does AoE Hydro damage when she comes out. So yeah, um, Ayaka's going to be exactly like that. She'll go into the ground, except uh, she'll go into the Cryo element, obviously her, uh, her element being Cryo. Um, she'll go into the ground as the Cryo element, and then she'll come out and deal Cryo AoE damage, which is really, really good, especially for stuff like Traversal, like when you're going over water. She can basically come out when you're low on stamina, create an ice platform, and then when you've got enough stamina back, you can go, you know, um, 
go into the water again. So that's what makes her really, really good. She's going to be really good for traversal if you guys do want to pick her up. So um, yeah, so to get to hard to, uh, hard to reach places like maybe the, the secret island in Genshin Impact, that's literally just east of the um, the beachy area where we actually started the game uh, in Mondstadt. So yeah, it's just off there. You'll be able to get there much quicker for newer players. Obviously for us, it's basically irrelevant because everyone that started the game pretty much knows of the island and has pretty much done the quest on that island. But um, yeah, so this basically... Um, she comes out and uh, deals cryo damage to opponents that are actually affect uh, that actually are near her radius of uh, when she comes out, and she'll also convert her physical attacks to cryo. Yeah, she'll convert her physical attacks to cryo if you didn't know. So basically, after you do the dash and come out for a few seconds, like three or four seconds, uh, three to five seconds, she'll basically have the cryo element on her sword. So instead of doing physical damage, she'll do cryo damage. Now, if you didn't know, um. Pretty much after using all of her skills, she actually does get cryo on her sword. So instead of building physical damage on her, you probably want to build cryo damage on her because she is going to be more of a main DPS character, except you can use her as a support, but she's built to be a main DPS. So she's one of those characters that's built to be a main DPS, but you can run as a support if you want to. So um, yeah, anyway, uh, that's basically her playstyle. Um, very, very fun, very fast character, very, um, ca a character that basically is like Zhao, so you want to keep them on their feet constantly, you want to keep moving back and forth between characters because of their fast, agile playstyle. Now, um, as for when she's going to be coming out, well, a lot of people, a lot of people in the community speculate that she's going to be coming out in, um, the Inazuma patch, which is supposedly patch 2.0, um, which is going to be in July, so July this year, which is around three, three, four months away from now. So I believe, yeah, uh, well, let's see, March, April, May, June, July, yeah, pretty much like um, five months from now, really. So four or five months from now, yeah. Um, that's when we're going, uh, basically, we're going to be getting her, according to the community. Of course, I don't actually have um, uh, a lot of reasons to back this up, but because a lot of um, people say that the Inazuma patch is going to be coming out in 2.0, um, a lot of people speculate that it is going to be 2.0. Uh, it is going to be 2.0. Now, um, there was actually a roadmap that a lot of uh, YouTubers have been talking about that um, was released and uh, we may be able to see if we're lucky, if we are lucky, this is a big, big if, um, we may be able to see her in patch 1.6 because patch 1.6 is supposed to be like the road to Inazuma patch. So it's basically the patch that gets us ready to go to Inazuma in patch 2.0. So yeah, this is the new updated um uh, what is it, roadmap, and a lot of um, sources, like data mined sources, I won't name them because obviously I want to keep them safe, um, but yeah, a lot of data mined uh, sources have actually uh, said that we're going to get uh, patch 2.0 after patch 1.6, so uh, yeah, these are very credible sources as well, so that's why a lot of people in the um, uh, Chinese community especially are actually, um, you know, speculating that we're going to be getting patch 2.0 in July, and if we're lucky with patch two, uh, which with patch 1.6 being the road to Inazuma patch, um, quotation marks, um, we will, we may be able to see her in June 2021. So basically a month before. But like I said, this is a very, very big if. Now, of course, there is a possibility that we may get her in patch 2.1 as well, but. If Inazuma is going to be patch 2.0, then I highly doubt it because if we're going to, if Ayaka is going to be a key character, like a very important character in the game, obviously we're going to be seeing her and that's just going to make uh, people want to get her even more. So from a popularity perspective, it's not really wise to put Ayaka in 2.1. Um, of course, it could be very good market wise, but you know, this could go either way really. So Ayaka's release date is pretty much going to be between 1.6 to 2.1. Like, it's highly unlikely it's going to be 2.1, but patch 1.6 or 2.0, again. So, yeah, patch 1.6 and 2.1, massive, massive ifs, but patch 2.0, it's, you know, it's it's, it's quite likely, like 50-50. So, uh, yeah, um, that's basically it in terms of Ayaka, guys. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think about Ayaka? She's a very, very interesting character, and she's definitely, uh, um, you know, looks like a very fun character to play. Now, personally, 
I am going to be skipping her because I am saving up for another waifu. And um, I'm not going to tell you guys because she's going to be coming in another video that I am planning on making. So uh, if you guys want to find out who my uh, next waifu that I am going to be saving up for is, then uh, uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and... Um, yeah, that's basically been the end of the video. So uh, put uh, put down in the comment section below uh, if Ayaka's your waifu, and if not, which character are you uh, looking forward to next? I mean, Ayaka or Husbandos, uh, we don't really discriminate on this channel. So um, yeah, who's your um, you know future waifu or husbando that you're going to be saving for? Because I know there's a lot of interesting characters that are going to be coming out. Obviously, these characters that are going to be coming out, um, they're going to be coming out at a much later date, like so, like far into the future that we don't even have any information on them. Like no, um, no element, no weapon, and not even like what they are going to be look like. No character design, pretty, pretty much no information on them at all, apart from some like bits about lore. So yeah, I probably will be covering those characters in future videos. But like I said, as we get more and more information, then I'll be able to make more like, you know, better videos for you guys. So I don't want to jump the gun and say, oh, we're going to be getting this character and we've basically got no information on them. So that's the end of the video, guys, basically. So I don't want something like that. So uh, yeah, anyway, speaking of the end of the video, that has been the end of the video, guys. I have been Carvinas14 and still am. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you soon, and um, yeah, goodbye.